SolarFest, the celebration of renewable energy that combines educational workshops on sustainable living, industry vendors, and keynote speakers with music and fun, is returning Sunday, July 21st. The event will be held at the Earth Sky Time Farm on Route 7A, just south of Manchester, and will start at 10 a.m. that morning. The event is coming back to Manchester after spending last year at Stratton Mountain. Bill LaBerge of Grassroots Solar, a Dorset-based solar installation company, and the president of the SolarFest's Board of Trustees, walks us through what will be going on. We have a series of workshops uh, and classes. Those start around 10.15, 10.20. Those will go until 5 o'clock. You'll have an opportunity to learn about net zero homes, hempcrete, uh, battery technology, how solar works, uh, uh, different types of composting toilets. And uh, so there's a variety of, uh, of building and, and sustainable uh, information. And then kids music will start around two o'clock in the afternoon. There's a keynote speaker, Edward Cameron, uh, an amazing speaker uh, to talk about climate change and, and how we as members of the community can, can do something about it. And then after that, we go into uh, world music, which will be really fun. So we're bringing the festival back to Solar Fest. You know, Earth, Sky, Earth Sky Time is, is a great venue for this because it does bring us back to being on the farm. Um, Oliver and Bonnie will be giving tours of, of their organic farm. They do they make uh, great bread right there. So it's, it's going to be a fun, you know, you can tour the farm, there'll be things for kids to do, and then we'll have four or five different venues where we will be operating uh, in different workshops all at the same time. Solar Fest has been held since 1995, when the event was launched in Middletown Springs, Vermont, and held on a farm there. From the start, it combined entertainment with education and discussion about issues pertaining to renewable energy use and climate change. Between 2005 and 2015, it was held in Tynmouth, Vermont, before coming to the Southern Vermont Arts Center in Manchester in 2016. Edward Cameron, a climate expert and one of the architects of the Paris Climate Accord, will be the keynote speaker this year. He recently gave another talk in Arlington where he described some of what he'll be speaking about when he delivers his address at the Solar Fest that afternoon around 5 p.m. The main purpose of the talk is to first and foremost help people understand that the moment we're in is a moment of challenge and crisis, but it's also a moment of opportunity. That that opportunity starts with the individual and local action that people will be showcasing at Solar Fest, things around renewable energy, things around regenerative agriculture, to give people a sense of what leadership looks like and how they can play their part in that. But also, I think, to give people a sense of optimism that the world around us is now moving towards decarbonisation, climate resilience, and an increased focus on inclusion. Because fundamentally, I believe that we need to remain hopeful and optimistic if we're to remain engaged in this issue over the longer term. And in all the talks I give, I, I try to retain that sense of optimism, in part because I find it empowering and in part because I actually find it factually correct. The event comes at a time when interest in matters pertaining to climate change and sustainable living is sharpening amid intensifying weather patterns that have impacted the United States from wildfires in California to increased rainfall in the Midwest and the states bordering the Gulf of Mexico. A record heat wave recently scorched much of Europe, and reports of polar ice caps melting at faster than normal rates are raising concerns about rising sea levels. Oliver Levis of Earth Sky Time Farm told us how the festival came to land there. Oh, uh, I think it was a pretty casual conversation with Bill. Um, we've been hosting musical events here for a while, as well as being part of the ecological uh, community. Um, we always really liked Solar Fest when it was up at the farm. And I think it's a natural fit to bring that vibe here and combine it with the um, the connection to the the world music that we've been bringing to the area, and also the spaces that we have around the farm for um, doing workshops. So it was just uh, one of these things where the festival really was looking for a home, and um, we're always up for some new fun project. Past solar fests have covered entire weekends, but this one will be a one-day affair only on Sunday, July 21st. For more information, you can visit their website at www.solarfest.org. For the GNAT-TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.